Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing as Malaya here in your open over Salus 4. We are putting down as many rebellions as we can while we colonize North America and a little bit of Asia. I do need to finish all this up quickly because the Europeans will be coming. They can't reach it from the west. We've completely blocked them off. All this land is taken. At least I don't think they can reach it from the west. Uh, but they will be able to reach it from the east fairly soon. I assume Portugal's over here grabbing um, some of the uh, islands over here. Easter Island, maybe Hawaii. And if he comes this way, then he will start colonizing this crap. I don't really mind it if he gets some of the stuff in Oceania. He can have all these islands if he wants. Uh, but I would like to finish up Australia and New Zealand. And I would also like to finish up everything that is considered Asia, which is... Where's the region? Region map mode. Asia is the red. And Oceania is the green. I don't mind if he gets some of the green, but I want to get as much of this red as we can. It's just worth more because it's our home area. Anywho, uh, we are ferrying over, or we did we did ferry over a whole bunch of mercenaries uh, to North America because we just didn't have the manpower to support actual armies. But we do now. So we will eventually replace these guys with actual armies. It's just going to take some time. Because the, mer the mercs we can afford. We have lots of money. Is there a level 3 statesman I could get? Nope. Yeah, it's okay though. I'm going to keep the theologian for the lower revolt risk. Uh, don't really need reinforced speed. Don't really need force limits. Don't really need any of that crap. Uh, I might as well spend extra money though on more points. More points is more better. We're currently integrating Arakan, the Mayas, and the... Aztecs. I'm sorry, Araka, the Zapotec, and the Aztecs. And it's time to tech up our military. So we're going to get more cavalry fire, more artillery fire, more combat width, and more artillery shock. Very good. Tech 22. What do the Europeans have for military tech? Poland, 20. Britain, 22. France, 23. <whistles> Spain, 21. Portugal, okay. So the Spanish leader needs to die. He's 21. And he has 29 more prestige to go through before he can safely keep his union with Portugal. Hopefully, he'll die before then. I mean, who knows how long. He might live to 75, and if that's the case, there's not much we can do about that union. But hopefully, he'll die. Russia pieced out the Uzbeks. Looks like they didn't take anything. That's weird. Uh, yeah, they didn't take anything. Well, they did. They are pushing into China pretty heavily. Look at this. They're down here in uh, Laoshi. God damn it, Russia. You stupid little bastards. Or big bastards in this case, right? But yeah, we're annexing Arakan and Zapotec and uh, Aztec. So that's fine. I'm going to let that go as fast as possible. Getting some fish fish. And we're recruiting soldiers here in North America. It looks like the revolts have pretty much stopped. That's nice. Uh, we did change our dynasty in the last episode, and because of that, our legitimacy went to shit. Anytime you change a dynasty, your legitimacy goes down to 20. And we are going to ruin it even further by annexing three vassals. We're going to lose 30 legitimacy, so we're going to go to zero, most likely. But that's okay. I don't mind low legitimacy. It will get better as our um, marriages continue on. We're married with the Ottomans. Yep. And Yemen. And Malwa. Yep. So our legitimacy will go up slowly. 1.25 per year. Uh, alternatively, if our king dies, that'll put our legitimacy at 100. And I'm okay with that too. Coring a whole bunch of shit. Very good. Uh, get your ass over here. We'll just bring all the new units over there. And you too. Et tu, unite. Okay, there goes Choctaw. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and delete the Mercs. We've had them for a long enough time. They've performed admirably. You know what? Go ahead and kill these rebels, and then you can go away. 
Our statesman died. Oh, come on. Oh, there's no more statesman. Fuck me. We need a statesman so bad. I do not want to live without a statesman. Because they make... Oh, God. We're losing annexation progress because we don't have a fucking statesman. Oh, my. Come on. I need a statesman. That's not even fair. <laughs> oh. We're going backwards, because we don't have a statesman. Well, that's part of the problem of having low legitimacy. But we should be able to core all this stuff now. Yeah. Okay, everything is coring. Good, 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 good. More rebels, you say? Alright. Uh, just go on hunt rebels, will ya? We're losing money now. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Russia wants access. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that, I guess. Uh, can I please have a statesman? Nope. It'd be nice if you could choose what to get. At least in EU3 you could pick, I want a statesman, give me a statesman. Even if you get a crappy one, at least you get a statesman, you know? Not in EU4. It would also be nice if you could buy a statesman. Like, just go to England or something and say, hey, um, I want to buy a statesman. That'd be nice. <laughs> you can't do that, though. Uh, we could bulb some stuff, and I do want to get this. Oh my god, do I want to get this. Mm, yeah, I think it's worth it. I need to get my expansion ideas done quickly. So we can go rampaging through Asia. <laughs> Asia, rampage, go! I'm paying 31 ducats a month for mercs. I think that's about time to get rid of them. Bye, Mercs. Bye, Mercs. And I can put these guys on Hunt Rebels over here. Oh, man. I can't believe we don't have a Statesman. Oh. Rebels. Get out of here. Please to have Statesman. Okay, we cord the most difficult place, Mobile. Good. That will lower revolt risk, but it won't be gone because of nationalism. Because the rebels were successful there, they now have nationalism until 1714. 34 more years of nationalism. So a lot more rebels will spawn over here. It's very unfortunate, but what can you do? Men of science. Yeah, of course. More men of science, please. And we're going to have to build some forts along here as well, because that will also um, increase the supply limit. So we'll be able to walk back and forth more easily. Oh, I forgot about the particularist down here. Yeah. Get on the boat. I have particularists to kill. Or, it's not true. And they didn't get on the boat. I freaking told you to get on the damn boat. Rebels in Blambengen? I don't even know where that is. There it is. Okay. Pick up as many as you can fit. And go to Blambengen. Okay, tech up time. Yeah. Alright. 
Why don't we get another idea group? Tech uh, 22. Okay. Ooh, we can do a royal palace. Yearly leg legitimacy plus 0.1. Yes, please. Build that. Takes all of our money, but that's so worth it. Yearly legitimacy plus 0.1. It's like an extra marriage. Okay, spawn. You should die pretty easily. Yeah, good. Back on the boat. Back up to Johor. France needs help. French purge of Brabant and heresy against Brabant, Sweden. Oh my god. Britain joined. And Denmark and Ireland joined. I think we have to accept this. Brabant is the leader? Why the hell is Brabant the leader of this war when Britain is in the war and Sweden is in the war? That is so dumb. That means France is going to invade Brabant and the war will be over. Okay. Welcome to the land of logic. And we may have to invade some British colonies. I really don't want to. Ireland's friendly with us, but we're going to have to invade them too. I think we'll just leave them alone. There's no real reason to go over there. Can you hurry up, please? Thank you so much for hurrying up. Get on the damn boat. Kill the rebels. We could go dick around with Britain's fleet. Eh, might as well. Uh, we'll get some um, naval tradition. Go dock up um, down here. And then come over here. And then let's go up here and fuck up Britain a little bit. And we're actually making progress over here now. Probably because we got our legitimacy back up. Yep. And we're coring stuff. Okay. Still a problem. Because without a statesman, our... Yeah, god damn, we need a statesman so bad. They're just so good. Statesman is like the best invention ever. Okay, get the hell over there. Those are the only rebels we have, right? Yeah, we're doing fine. Actually, it's just level one. Just siege it. What are they going to do? Really? You're going to fail against a level one fort? That's fucking embarrassing. You failed against level one fort. Wow. When it rains, it pours. And the war is already over. Really? Uh... Brabant will concede defeat. Wow, France, you really have cojones. You made them concede defeat. He just wanted prestige. It's kind of silly how the AI can, can do that, but a player would never be able to get anyone to peace out that quickly. Ever. Because of length of war penalty. All right, everything's coring. Good. Revolt risk is way down. 2%. Yeah. Hmm. Still nothing interesting, though. Why do you want me to spread my culture to Alabama? They've been giving me that mission for a long... That's 25 points. I'm not going to spend 25 points to spread culture to Alabama. Back on the boat. I think things are finally under control. So 
so we should start looking to be aggressive over here. Oh, we're going to have to kill these rebels, too. Garjati Nationalist. Why can you not kill? It's only six rebels. You should be able to kill them. Please tell me my vassal can kill six rebels. It looks like maybe. Nope, he fucking failed. God damn it. Stu oh, at least the, the rebels don't have enough troops to siege anymore. <laughs> so that's nice. Sometimes I'm embarrassed at how bad the AI is in this game. Hungary declared war on Poland. Okay. Why would Hungary declare war on Poland? Because Poland is now at war with Austria. That's why. Okay. Still, it doesn't sound like a good decision. And there's still no statesman around. Well, hopefully one of these old-ass bastards will die and will get replaced with a statesman. There's just no way to, to tell what will happen, unfortunately. France is annexing Brittany. That's cute. Ah, uh, it's a religious thing, isn't it? Purge of heresy. Oh well. Okay, finished up a colony. Let's uh, get more. Keep working these Asian provinces. We almost have all of the Asian ones. Uh, we need what? Tidor and I think that's it. That's everything for Asia that we can colonize. Everything else is Oceania. But that's fine. We'll go to Oceania as well. I guess we could come up here and get um, Hokkaido. That's considered Asia. I think. Yeah, it's part of the Japan region. Asia. Yeah. So this would this would be considered home provinces for us as well. We should go up there. Uh, so long as we don't border Russia directly, which I don't think we would. We'd be close to them, though, and they might fabricate claims on us, and that would be bad. Hmm. Let's see. If we're going to come down here, 1,000 guys. That's not that bad. Uh, -bum -bum -bum. Give me two guys. Get on the boat. Let's go to South Island. So the plan is to annex our vassals, and then release a new vassal, Lan Zong, or Lan Na, and then go to war with Shan and Lan Zong to give Lan Na two more provinces, because they have three cores. We'll give both of those to them. And both their allies are weak, so it's not really a problem. And then once we've made them release Khmer, or I guess we'll, we'll just annex Korat, and then we'll, we, we will release Khmer. Then we'll have 14 years to go to war with Dai Viet, Blah, blah, blah. It's just a multiple step problem over here. But I also want to come over here and annex the Inca. Because they should be no overextension. Because there's no foreign cores in here. At least I don't think there are. And if we can, we'll go get the Iroquois, Iroquois, whatever, as well. Uh, France is quickly colonizing down here, though. We really have to get these colonies to finish. My goodness. I don't want to let France sneak in and steal shit up here. This shit's mine, dog. I was here first. But I also don't want to stop colonizing here in Asia. I want to make sure we get as much of Asia as possible. Because it is worth the most. Statesman? These fuckers need to die.
Yeah, Portugal already finished these. We'll just skip right past them like they're not even there. Hmm, Syrian nationalists. Or patriots, whatever. Same thing. Sort of. Japan will give Corjola to Korea. Ooh, Japan surrendered. Huh. And they have rebels, too. Peasants. Catholics. Oh, God, they have Catholics. Ah, oh, nice knowing you, Japan. But now you have Catholics. We have Catholics, too. Ew. Get out of here, you filthy Catholics. Oh, we're converting it. That's why we can't core it. Eh, whatever. We'll core it later, I guess. Poland surrendered to the Pope. But that did get Austria out. And we can handle 30 more guys. Approximately. So what do we have in the army here? I want to flesh out my North American army. 22, okay. Let's do um, maybe 6 cav. And uh, 10 cannons. And maybe 3 more soldiers. Or 4 seven. <laughs> Whatever. We'll have a decent sized North American army and then we'll build some more army in Asia as well. But I'll let our manpower get back up first. Look at that. We have a max of 121. Not bad at all. In fact, this army of 30 should be able to take out all these motherfuckers. Will you guys die? Look how old they are. 46 and 45. They need to die. I need a statesman so bad. I wish there was a black market I could get to. Just smuggle in a statesman from somewhere. But unfortunately, we do need to end the episode here. So thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen. You have been you. We'll come back next time for more colonization of North America, where we're going to be competing with France, I think, to see who can get most land up here in uh, northern USA, southern Canada. And also, we're going to be releasing uh, Lan Na, so we can get some more land for them, and uh, annexing three of our vassals, if we can get a fucking statesman. We'll see what happens. Bye-bye.